So we can establish variables within Power BI to do different things with the data that we've input. So stay tuned. We're going to jump to this. What, uh, what you might think is a very complex thing to do, but it's very simple. So let's get started. So if you're familiar at all with creating, um, whoops, if you're familiar at all with creating um, values within Excel, you're going to love Power BI because it's very, very similar. So let's go ahead. I've already, I've done that twice now because I keep hitting the wrong mouse, but let me just show you the equation here so that you can see what we're doing. It's actually very, very straightforward here. On, we have our table here. I'm in Power BI Desktop. To get to this right here, to create a uh, measure, we just say new measure. So we just click on that and we can create a new measure. But we've already done that. And here's, we did two of them. This is the one we're going to work on right here, gross profit. So that's that number right there, as you can see. So let's go ahead and click on that. And you can see here that we've just identified the variable called gross profit notice here this is what it's called here now we create a variable total gross and we're going to do a sum and so when we we type in the total gross and then i'm going to hold down my shift key and hit enter and then i can type in all types of things so you can see all of the possibilities here right so um let me see here. Uh, let me see your sum. We could do division. We could do all types of things. But in this one, we're just doing sum. And then you click on it. And then it kind of walks you through what field you want to do. In this case, we did gross profit. And that was it, right? So pretty easy from that perspective. And you can add multiple variables as well as filters on this. But in this video, we're just going to do it real quick, real easy, so you can get comfortable with it. Then you have to type in return. Make sure you type in return and then what it is that you're looking for. Now, in this case, I'm really just looking for this variable right here that I've created, which is a sum of all three of these. Now, I know it gives you a total here, but I want the total to appear here inside of a different graphic within, within, my, um, within my Power BI report. So here I have it. I created this, remember, we created this, we put in total gross and we hit the check mark and it, it does it okay. And now I want to use that in a graphic. So it's really pretty simple to use. We're going to click, I'm just going to do a card and I'm just going to say I want that. Notice it's a calculated field. You can see the calculator. I'm just going to drag that over and boom. Now we see that number right here. It's the right number. It's a calculation of all these fields. So take this information and now use it to do anything. So if you're used to writing a sum statements and, and equal statements within Excel, this is going to be a walk in the park.